When I interviewed academics recently, he said he's 100% sure Young Thug will be found guilty. Mm. Now, keep in mind, there's lots of charges. Right. When they, you know, similar to what you talked about in the Diddy case, when they raided Young Thug's house, they found guns with switches and drugs. So there's that. Yeah. And you're going to be hard-pressed to get out of that one. So... Can they prove the RICO and so forth? That's that's going to be a tough one. But they do have the backup plan. And that backup plan, you know, a gun with a switch, that that's a fairly serious crime, especially in Georgia, right? I'm not sure what it is in Georgia, having a machine gun in the feds. I think it's up to like 10 years. Yeah, this is not the feds, though. This is the state. Yeah, it's the state case. So I don't know what a machine gun is in Georgia. But I mean, Well, it's interesting because... Uh, there's actually a DA that's running against Fonnie Willis, who said that she'll drop all the charges against Young Thug. Yeah. As soon as she becomes a DA. But what academics pointed out is that this woman has absolutely no chance of beating Fonnie, you know, in an election. That although hip hop doesn't like Fonnie Willis, the people in her district absolutely adore her. Because she really, you know, she when she took these guys off the street, crime rates have dropped significantly. Right. And the thing is, is that it took a black woman to bring these charges up because a white DA, it would be seen as racist. Oh, you're just trying to target black men, you know, because you're white and privileged and you're racist and you're a white supremacist. But they can't pull that shit with Fonnie Willis. Right. Uh I mean, what do you think will be the outcome of the Young Thug case? I'm not sure. I mean, I kind of hope for a miracle in the situation. But like you said, they got a lot of shit. I think the good thing about it, though, is uh, in Georgia, if I'm not mistaken, unless it's a crime of violence, you only have to do like 65%, maybe hmm. even less. But if it's a crime of violence, I think then it's 85%. So it's like, that's the thing is you got certain states where even if you get hit with 10 years, you only got to do three or four off the 10 or seven off the 10, whatever it is. Florida is like the feds. You got to do 85%. It's the most. But even if he gets hit, because that's why the people in the case that he's on, a lot of them have already been to prison and already gotten crazy sentences, but they only had to do a small percentage of it. So they got right back out. You know what I mean? So even if he goes to prison... In the state of Georgia, it's like, how much time is he actually doing? And then he's going to get time served for the amount of time that he's been in there. So that on top of that, it could end in a situation like with Lucci, a young boy, where, yeah, you got this sentence, but you're going to get out soon. So I don't know. Well, you know what happened with the YFN Lucci case? Everyone's wondering why he's not home yet, because when he took his deal, they're saying he'd be home in like two, three months. Right. Here's what happened. I found out the inside scoop. So when they made the deal, the DA agreed to write a letter to the parole board recommending his release. And she did that. But there wasn't a stipulation as to when she would do it. So there was already a parole board hearing and the letter had not arrived yet. Okay. So when the hearing happened, no letter from the DA, they denied his parole. Then the letter came in afterwards. So now he has to wait for the next parole board hearing, and at which point they'll read the letter. Okay. So they're kind of playing games with him a little bit. You know, she, she knew what she was doing. How much time passes regard. before the next parole meeting? Ooh, I think it might be, it's either six months or a year, something like that. I, I, I forgot, the person who told me, they told me in confidence, I don't want to put out the wrong information, but it's not going to be like next month or anything. It's going to take a little while. Yeah, I'd be mad about that. That's That yeah. fucking sucks. But uh, for what he was facing, that's still great. Yeah, Georgia Parole Board considers parole cases for eligible inmates at least once a year. So it could be more often. But yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, man, he's going to sit down for a little while longer. But I think uh, in the near future, he will be out. Yeah, I mean, even if you got to do another year, bro, you just got to think about it like, all right, you were the driver in a drive-by shooting. 
that's <laughs> that's not that bad, you know? One more year is not that bad. Right, but his friend got shot. Yeah. Not, not by him. And then his friend got dumped out of the car. Oh. But it's just like you did a drive-by shooting trying to kill. Somebody got hit in your car. Y'all dumped him, drove off, and you really didn't get that much time. So that's what I'm saying. I'd be all right with just doing a couple of years if I had a case like that. You know what I mean? I'm not going right. to complain about the next parole meeting. Right. Fair enough. 